Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. And today we're talking about the two new phones from Paco, the X3 Pro and the F3. And I'm doing this video from Studio A, my mobile studio, because there's so many phones that came out this week that I want to be able to talk to you guys about that I didn't want to wait and like do it when I had time at home to set up the home studio and all that stuff. So just doing it from the car to get as many of these videos out as quickly as I can. Also, uh, this is a new mobile studio, so um, if you wouldn't mind helping me out with that and uh, subscribing to the channel, uh, that would be great. So needy. So I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about these phones. They've already been covered and reviewed extensively on the tubes. Uh, the X3 Pro is an upgrade over the X3 NFC from last year. It's got some better processing power in it, really good for gamers. And it's only, I believe, 200 euros, which makes it an excellent value. And the other phone, the F3, might be an even greater value. It's got an even better processor in it. It's got the Snapdragon 870 chip in it and it's going for only 330 euros so both of these phones represent really great options like i said in this space they have huge 6.67 inch screens uh great for gamers so if gaming is your jam uh these two phones are probably looking really appealing to you finally understand these phones are not being sold in the u.s right now they may never be sold in the u.s they'll probably never be sold here by paco at least they may become available on amazon at some time down the road but if you buy them now you're going to need a third-party seller and as always as i like to warn people if you bring a phone over here from a third-party seller and it doesn't work you're probably not going to be able to return it so just something to keep in mind so in order for a phone to work here in the U.S., it has to meet two different types of criteria. First, it has to have the hardware to work here. It's got to have the antennas, and it's got to support the frequency bands that the major carriers here in the U.S. use. The other thing you have to consider is certification. So if a phone is not certified or approved to work on a specific network, it may get shoddy reception. It may not get any reception whatsoever, or it may not even be able to be activated on that network so both the hardware and the certification has to be there for a phone to be reliable on a certain network now just because a phone doesn't have all the frequency bands of a carrier and is not approved that's not a guarantee it won't work you might get lucky your carrier might activate the phone for you it might work where you live it's always possible but just know it's far from a sure thing if both requirements are not met First, let's talk about the X3 Pro. So no 5G on this phone, so that part's easy. As far as 4G goes, it's missing major frequency band support for all three major carriers. So your coverage is probably going to be spotty no matter what carrier you're on. If you're absolutely desperate to try this phone out, your best bet is probably on T-Mobile. It does use two out of three of their major frequency bands, so that's your best bet. But even T-Mobile, hardware-wise, is far from a sure thing. As far as certification goes, this phone is not certified to work on anybody's network, so there's a chance they won't even activate this phone for you. So just be aware, even if the reception is there, you still may not be able to use the phone. Now let's talk about the F3. As far as 5G goes, and this is a 5G compatible phone, it only uses one of Verizon's 5G bands. It uses one of their low bands, so it's got some support for Verizon low band 5G, but none of their millimeter wave is supported. In fact, millimeter wave isn't supported on any uh, carrier with this phone. As far as AT&T goes, you do get some 5G low band support once again, so it could get some 5G, and it uses T-Mobile's mid-band 5G. So there is some 5G support. As far as 4G is concerned, Verizon's probably a no-go. It doesn't support Verizon's big band, band 13. It uses most of AT&T's frequency bands and most of T-Mobile's 4G frequency bands. So with 4G with those two carriers, you will probably get some decent 4G coverage if you can get them to activate your phone. Unfortunately, as with the X3 Pro, none of the carriers are planning on certifying these phones to work on their network, so there's a very good chance it will not work on any of the carriers despite the supported hardware. So unfortunately, with the lack of certification with both of these phones, the news is not good. However, the one piece of good news I will share with you is that the X3 NFC the previous version of the X3 Pro that came out last year, that phone is currently being sold on Amazon. Now, its hardware support is the same as the Pro, but the difference here is because it's being sold on Amazon, uh, you could return it. 
So you could actually get your money back if you bring it over here and you can't activate it. You can send it back to Amazon and get a refund. So if you're desperate to try out one of these phones and you're willing to take a little bit of a downgrade, that might be an option for you. It's certainly a safer option for you. Finally, if you do pick up one of these phones and you can't get it to work here, you could always just use it as a gaming tablet. Like I said before, these are great gaming devices. Maybe it's just something you use around the house on the Wi-Fi. It should work on your Wi-Fi just fine. So that's still always an option if you're willing to not be able to use it outside the home. Well, that's all the information I have today about Poco's latest and greatest. Are you going to roll the dice? Are you going to try to bring in one of these phones and get it to work on your network? If you do, please, please, please come back to the channel and let me know down in the comments whether or not you could get that phone to work so other people can learn from your experience. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.